young people have energy, and young people, that's where the movement is at. This has been going on for decades, and a lot of young people have always led the civil rights movement, uh, whether you're talking about in Selma, Alabama, right, or you're talking about today. This is where it comes from. It's not just the Rosa Parks, it's also those kids who are going to school, going to college campuses, getting spit on, and that's the role that they're taking out. They're, they are taking the American spirit just as well as anybody else is taking the American spirit. And that's why I'm here, to be a part of that as well. When your university is welcoming someone who's signing off on the genocide of a people, um, and very explicitly so, I mean, she's been involved in this since 2015 when she was governor of South Carolina and she introduced a law where it was illegal to boycott Israel, right? It basically said that if you worked with the state, um, the state would boycott you because um, you're refusing to work with companies that work with Israel. It really made no sense. It was completely, completely a violation of our free speech. And so with someone like this who is who is so, so into it to the point where she says that uh, Israel massacring um, over 100 protesters in one day is showing restraint. Her exact quote is, Israel uh, is the only country here that would show as much restraint as they did, right? And I think that's that's ludicrous, and you can't talk with someone like that. People told us, hey, maybe you should just have a Q&A, right? Just talk to her, talk to her. Let's see uh, what you can work out. That's not how this works. It's not how politicians work, right? Um, we actually tweeted at her on Twitter, she replied to us with uh, proving our point, saying these random uh, positive things that really had no actual value to them. Very political, avoiding the point, not wanting to talk about anything. And so we figured that attempting to talk to her in some Q&A session uh, with her views already well grounded, her making millions off of it, uh, would only further her misinformation to other people. I know that we're divided on a lot of things in our country, but there's a lot that we're united on. We want a better world. We want other people to know what we have and to have the democracy and the freedom to speak and the freedom to live a good life. We know those things. And if we could just come together on those issues that we do agree and be a louder voice for it, we could make a huge difference in the world. But right now, if we're divided, all those countries see that division. They all see how separated we are. We are always stronger when we're united. We're stronger when we talk about our values. It's why I keep pushing our American values, because pushing those values gives the other countries hope.